I don't know about you, but I really enjoy it when I run across a website that has some cool animations and it stops and makes you wonder how they did that. My name is Peter, owner of Tilrat Web Design, and in today's video I'm going to talk about some of the web animation tricks I've learned recently. In today's video I'm specifically going to talk about CSS animation and the offset path property and how that works. So with that quick introduction, let's get started. We're in the CodePen app again today, CodePen.io, where I've set up a container with 100 viewport width and 100 viewport height, in which we have put this green arrow, which I've made uh, just using a clip path, polygon clip path, made it green. And we're positioning it absolute top and zero left, zero, so uh, nothing will be pushed out of the way. So we can show uh, in this video this arrow animating along a path. So to get this path, we go over here into Inkscape. It's a free program. We can um, make SVG illustrations, but it also reveals the code behind those illustrations. So I uh, go over here to Document Properties. I set everything up in, uh, in pixels. I set it, let's go for a custom size 600 by 600 and then make the scale, we'll put the scale at one, and then we check that our view box is the same, 600 by 600, good. And now we can just draw a path on here. So I'll use the pencil tool, circle it around a little bit, and connect it. And what you can then do is go over to the XML editor part of Inkscape, and here is the path we just put in. You can see it's quite long and complicated, so to uh, simplify things, just go back here and hit control L a few times to get rid of some of those nodes. Just make it a simpler path. And there it is. And then we just copy this, go back to our code pen. And what we first want to do is we want to not just animate, we want to see where this animates going. So we will first show it as the SVG and make that the width of 600 and the height of 600. And then put it in path. Path D equals, and then we paste what we just had in. And then it's going to show up like that. It was pretty ugly. So you have to put fill equals zero, uh, fill equals none, because we only want the outline of that. And then stroke will make our stroke, our outline will make that blue. And that should be better. Close our path. Then, uh, as I mentioned, we're going to animate this green arrow to follow this path. So we do that by going down here in our CSS using this offset path property. So we go offset path, path, and just paste in what we just put up above. And with that, you see that the arrow moves onto the screen. And we want to animate that, so we have animation. Let's call it follow path. Follow path. Make that uh, eight seconds uh, linear and in And that should be that. We can close it up and then just put our keyframes in. At keyframes. So it's for our CSS animation, you use the keyframes, name it after the animation. So add keyframes, follow path, and then two is all we need. That's like our 100% of where it's going to, what the result is going to be. So in this case, we'll put offset distance and make that 100%. And that should be it. If I've typed everything correctly, our arrow should start moving. It doesn't, so I've probably have a misspelling here somewhere so give me a moment and i will and there it is it's at keyframes not at keyframe now we should be in motion and you see our green arrow following the path that we just put in so that's a pretty cool trick there are a lot of different types of animations that you can do a lot of uh, different ways to go about doing it and this is just one simple way i'm showing today in this video and i hope to show more in upcoming videos 
And again, you can uh, get as crazy as you want with these. You don't want to get too obnoxious, but a little movement sometimes catches the eye and makes people want to stay on your page. So again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>